what's up guys we're gonna bro beats today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix your vst distortion all right if you guys haven't subbed already or turned post notifications on make sure you do that because it does help the channel out a lot so let's hop right into it so i'm not going to be helping you fix this up here which is your cpu load all right now this usually will be in red you'll hear some crackling right this is not where we're gonna be focusing on so i don't want to confuse people all right what we're going to be focusing on is your actual vst okay your vst may have problems loading samples or if you have like reverb built into the vst or any effects it may sometimes um cause crackling or just distortion of the samples or whatever sounds that you have all right and it's kind of annoying especially when you're just trying to get a idea out get a melody down okay so i'm gonna show you how to fix that but right now what i'm gonna do is show you an example of what this will sound like now mine isn't actually doing that right now it's completely random um, so I'm going to show you an example of what it might sound like right now. All right, so you can see how annoying that may be, especially when you're trying to get an idea down. It's just going to mess up your workflow because you have to restart everything and reload all your stuff. So I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. And it should be a permanent fix because it will save to your actual VST. So what you want to do is click this knob up here, detailed settings, go to VST wrapper settings. All right. And then it has settings and processing. Go to processing. Now, this one is looking all ugly and all these settings here. What you want to look for is use fixed size buffers, which is right here. OK, and it tells you right here is for buggy plugin. So you can use this for any plugin that you have. All right. And it says it causes latency, but I don't really experience any of that. Um, I, I guess if you have a lot of like a huge MIDI file you're working with, then maybe. But from the stuff that I've made with this, it's not it doesn't really cause any latency. It's just fine. All right. So click that on. It's going to pop up this message to scare you pretty much. Whatever. Press yes. And all your problems should be solved. OK. Now, if you have any further issues with this, then you just probably need to upgrade your PC or reinstall some things or whatever. All right. But uh, let's go back to the editor and then this would it, it should sound a lot cleaner like this. All right. And that's how you fix your distorted VST samples or sounds. All right. And that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys in the next one.